My Sugar Boo, presented by Stilla Frog. Turn that off, would you? That's not music. That's just, well, that's just noise. Be careful. You're dating yourself, mother, badly, I might add. No, Tish, I'm sorry, but music is the classics. And what constitutes classics? The names you know, rhythms you can dance to, songs you could sing along to, words you could understand, songs that had some depth, more than just incomprehensible noise. (gasps) This should be good. I'm curious, Mom. Name what you consider to be music. Easy. The Beatles, Elvis, for starters. Okay, fine. I I will not deny those are indeed classics. And yes, they definitely had good sing-along songs, but depth? What do you mean? I want to hold your hand. I want to hold your hand. I want to hold your hand. That's about the gist of that one. That's some genuine lyrical wordsmithing right there. No, there's more to that song. Say to me, you'll let me be your man. And then what comes next? I want to hold your hand. What was that? Hmm? I want to hold your hand, okay? Exactly. Oh, and what about, you ain't nothing but a hound dog crying all the time. You ain't nothing but a hound dog crying all the time. You ain't never caught a rabbit, and you ain't no friend of mine. I know I personally determine who's in my friendship circle by their rabbit-catching ability. Fine, but that song you had on was just loud and nonsensical, and most music today needlessly sexualizes things. Elvis sang an entire song in which he basically tells a woman to shut up because he's not interested in conversation, and she instead should just focus on the satisfactioning him. Satis- Factioning. <laughs> he made up his own euphemistic sex verb in which the woman is ostensibly at the mercy of his lustful whims. So just keep quiet and get naked. His music was nothing like the stuff that you hear today. I mean, in that last song you were playing, what was that girl even saying? I didn't understand a word of it. Today's music is more about the energy and the spirit of the rhythm. Mm, it's... The inherent message of love. And yes, sex. And... The celebration of a mutual contract. The celebration of a mutual contract? What in God's name are you talking about, Tish? Love. Relationships. What have you. They're just glorified contracts. I really don't think that... True or false? Two people entering into a relationship agree upon a pre-stipulated set of rules, if you will. Hmm? To which they intend to adhere to for the duration of said contract. And by by rules, I'm not talking about some archaic, uh, the woman's got to wear skirts and pearls whilst making a beef bourguignon straight out of Julia Child's cookbook. Or or the dude's got to be the primary breadwinner and learn how to play the back nine or whatever. Well, what do you mean exactly then by rules? Rules as in you both agree not to say things that will deliberately hurt one another. Such as, for example, yes, you finally got it out of me. My ex was much bigger than you. What? Or rule as in you agree that sex is a given after an appropriate period of time has passed in the relationship. And sex is to be performed with some sort of regular frequency thereafter. And and then like rule number three. You shall watch an endless reel of sci-fi movies that involve one or more of the following. Robots, spaceships, a mutant virus. Even if you hate sci-fi. And your partner, in return, will pretend that he doesn't believe that every single rom-com has basically the same plot. Rule numeral quattro. You agree to order food at a restaurant that your partner also likes, thereby facilitating the partner plate pass. Rule five. You don't fuck other people. Now, that one's a pretty simple one. Shall I go on, or are you getting the whole contract concept now? Well, wow, sweetheart. Is this how it is with the men you date? (laughs) What men? (laughs) So the songs you listen to, new songs, modern songs, are... Inherently about sticking to the rules. Particularly two and five. Which were... You fuck each other, you don't fuck others. Tish! Mom, I'm 46! Well, I don't... Okay, then. So that last song that was on, can you explain it to me? That was called Levitating 
By Dua Lipa. Dua, what a, who are they? <laughs> Dua Lipa, not a they. It's a person, an individual singer. That's a woman's name? She's Albanian. So how does the chorus go? You want me, I want your baby, my sugar boo, I'm levitating, the Milky Way, we're renegading, yeah, 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 yeah. Sugar boo? It's a term of endearment. Well, I know that, but the Milky Way, we're renegading, what does that even mean? Seems she's also taking some liberties changing nouns into verbs, and there appear to be a whole lot of repeated yes by way of lyrics. Not exactly a lot of thought process on that one. Touché. Renegating, I guess, just means their love has transported them into the galaxy, and they, they feel like they are the only ones that exist. Two renegades completely in love, far above this mere planet Earth, a space that cannot possibly contain all the feelings they shared between them. I did not get all of that from those lyrics. But the way you just explained it, that's really beautiful, honey. You're like a poet. (laughs) No, Mom. Trust me, I am no poet. Nonsense. Okay, I got one. (laughs) Are we playing some sort of game now? (laughs) Semolina Pilchard, climbing up the Eiffel Tower, elementary penguin singing Hare Krishna, man, you should have seen them kicking Edgar Allan Poe. What in the world is that from? (laughs) Right? The Beatles. I am the walrus. Those boys were on some pretty heavy drugs. That's all I have to say. Wow. Uh, Yeah, I guess so. Oh, my turn. What about this one? And you can tell everybody, this is your song. It may be quite simple, but now that it's done, I hope you don't mind. I hope you don't mind that I put down in words how wonderful life is while you're in the world. Now that was a song. On our very first date, we danced to that song, you know. Your father put it on the jukebox. Those were still a thing back then. It was a good time. Those were the best of times. You still miss him a lot, don't you? I do. I really do. I thought this would get easier with time. It's a little bit funner. This feeling and (laughs) share. Thank you, sweetheart. For what? For reminding me just how wonderful life really is. (laughs) 